Hey G Squad, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how I made these apple turnover egg rolls. Yes. So let's get right into this. Going to call out all the ingredients as I'm adding them to this pan that I currently have on medium and also off to the side in which I'll show you in a minute. I have some uh, vegetable oil and I have that heating because I want my grease to be really hot at least 350 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to add to my pan I have two uh, medium, medium to large size apples that you can see I peeled, took the core out and um, I just diced and these are Granny Smith apples. Next, I'm going to follow up with half a cup of sugar. And then now I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. To the side then we're going to add like a quarter spoon of nutmeg all righty keep it in moving we're going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch And the cornstarch serves as a, a thickening agent. Okay, I accidentally grabbed the tablespoon instead of the teaspoon. Okay. Two teaspoons of the cornstarch. Let me wipe this off. This one, two, and then now I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm just using this lemon juice right here. So now I have my spatula here. Make sure it's on medium heat. And I'm just going to stir this until the apples begin to soften and it starts to thicken. So I'm just going to allow this to just sit for a little bit and then every few minutes I'll just stir it. And as you can see how a juice is starting to form from the apples. Okay. Right now I'm just mixing it around so the apples can be coated in all the, um, you know, the sugar and the starch and such. Okay, so let that sit for a few and... And 
And over here, as I said, I have a big pot and it's halfway filled with the um, vegetable oil. And I have this going now because like I said, I want it, it's gonna take a minute for it to get hot like I want it. So that's why I have it going now. And I have it on low because I don't want it to get too hot before our filling is ready, okay? So pan your back over here. Now as you see how it's bubbling. I don't know if you can see it. Let me pan it in a little closer. Okay, so there's a bubble go bubbling going on. So I'm just gonna stir. Alright, so once that's really going, I'll come back in because I don't want my uh, battery to die. So I'll pop back in in a few. Alright family, so as you can see it's boiling and now it's thickening because before it wasn't getting thick. So I went back and I added a, a tablespoon of um, the cornstarch. So basically it's two tablespoons of cornstarch. Yeah, I just like to be transparent and if I make any adjustments, I just wanted to, you know, be, be honest and let you know. So now, that's the thickness that I was looking for. I'm going to lower this some. Turn that off. Okay. Sure my apples are tender. Oh yeah, see how nice and tender they are? The knife goes right through them. All right, so now I'm gonna sit this off to the side, move it from this heat and allow these to cool off and then we'll um, move on. Okay family, so these are the um, egg roll wraps that I'm using. I showed this in my last video for the, um, the strawberry uh, cream cheese tarts that I, I did with the same egg roll. So these are the leftover ones. And so now I have two of these laying out on my mat so also I have some one egg that I beat and I'm going to use this actually to coat each egg roll so when I put it in the oil it's going to lend to that crispiness that we're looking for all right so now I'm going to scoop out some of this apple filling Just gonna add that. Come on, don't be stingy, girl. Add some more. Okay. So now, I'm gonna get to fold this, and you want to make sure. So it's going to have like an envelope look and then you want to roll it really good, nice and tight. Okay. So that's how it looks. And then I have a pan here off to the side that I'm going to place them in and just repeat the process. Make your envelope. And just roll. Okay, and actually I'm going to, let me seal it. I don't want them coming open as soon as they um, hit that oil. So I'm just going to just dab some in here to seal it. 
Okay, just continue with the process. to tasting this when I tell you this I'm feeling it tastes so good oh it tastes delicious I mean, the thing about these egg roll wraps, you can do so many different things with them. I love it. So many different dishes you can make. And you get a lot of these in the pack as well. And I guess I could use the brush, right, to dab it, but my hands are clean. And let's see, we have enough for two more. of this um, filling. Okay, so and the last one So now I'm just going to bring the pan over, and this is how they look. So now I'll go in
All right. So there you have it. So now I'm just going to give this grease a little while longer to get hot and then I'll pop it in and we'll start frying these. Okay, so our grease is ready. All right, make sure the camera's cleared up. The grease is ready, so now I'm going to add our and I'm going to do just a few at a time. So I added three in there. It only takes a few minutes for it to form that brown coating. I can feel already how crispy the uh, the skin is. Well, the egg roll wraps. Okay. So now I want that golden. Okay. Let's set these off to the side. Going with my next batch. Three. All we can do. So this is how they look. Nice golden brown.
Okay. All right, so let me pan your desk and look at these beautiful babies. Okay, so now while they're still hot and have some oil on it, I'm going to actually hit it with some of the cinnamon sugar right here. Don't be shy, y'all, with the cinnamon sugar. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so let me remove it from here, and then I'll finish up this video. Okay. Move your back. Look at that. Woo -wee. Let me pan your back. Look how beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to sink my teeth into those. And now if you wanted to really, really get crazy, we can add some of this uh, powdered sugar on here. Should I do that in addition? Okay, maybe I'll just add it on a light coating. Because why not? Why not? If you're going to cheat, cheat big, right? Okay, so I'm just going to do a light dusting. Yeah, about that much. Being very light. Not going to go too crazy. There we go. I might as well finish this up right here. Honey, baby. I hope if I remove the spoon. Okay. Look at that. So I'm going to let these cool off for a few minutes because I don't want to burn my mouth when I go and bite into it. Uh, so I'll be back shortly. All right, family, so let me get you situated. Okay. All right, so 
hear the crack? Okay. That's how the inside is looking. Let me see if I can get this camera to clear up some. Come on, baby, cooperate for me, please. Okay, there we go. So that's how it looks. Take a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. And the combination of the powdered sugar along with the cinnamon sugar is not overwhelming. You would think it would be extra sweet, but it's not, I promise you. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So good. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this right off the counter. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have this with some ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is so amazing. Mmm. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so good. So good. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Wow. Family, I have to try this recipe. You have to. It is a must. Mm. Wow. I wish I had some ice cream. Oh my goodness. This is so delicious. I know I keep saying it, but it's so good. And the thing of it is, again, it's not too sweet. This is my first time actually. Normally I would just use like use the powdered sugar, but then I remembered I had this, you know, the um, cinnamon sugar in the cabinet. So I said, hey, you know what? Let me just, you know, do both and. I'm telling you, it's not too sweet. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow. Anyway, let me go ahead and wrap up this video. Get me a nice uh, glass of that 2% milk. And I'm going to sit down and enjoy another one of these. But G-Squad, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please, please, you know, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Share. Like. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.